today just to announce the academy. We, we're also going to announce our first team squad, and uh, we're delighted to say we're also announcing our new jersey for the season. So there's three things, but the main thing for us today is the academy. Uh, we've been working on this for since I came into the club, and uh, we had to find the right the right pathway for, for us. For I mean, Cavan City is a big club. Uh, some people probably don't even realise there's 65 teams in it. I'm only a very short time here, but in that time I've learned an awful lot. It's a very complicated little place, but we're trying to improve it, we're trying to bring it around from being a schoolboy to a professional outfit, and we're, we're moving rapidly. Um, the whole idea of this academy was we felt there was a, a gap between the schoolboy and the senior. So our facilities in Kilbogan is jammed. If you, if you go over there any night of the week, there's not enough space for us to do it. I hope the councillors are listening. We could do with more help, particularly with all weather pitches, and hopefully a better facility for all, not not just for us. But we're 65 teams. It's just ridiculous in the borough of Dunleary that we don't have a better facility. However, the most important thing for us was to identify where we were going to go with our kids, because we look at here on a Friday night and we say, right, there's no councillors here. There's very little media here. There's very little par parents when we're playing a first team game. So we need to encourage that and change people's attitudes. So where do we start? Well, we identified the under 12s. We took a lot of time on it, looked at a few academies in England, and that you know, the word academy is very loose, lads. This is an elite program. Academy is a word that a lot of people bandy around. We don't have two training pitches. We don't have an all-weather pitch here on this facility. So we're gonna make the best out of what we can. But the uniqueness of this is that these lads, and Every one of them, there's 65 kids coming on it. We're not sort of referring <coughs> anyone to position on it. There's 65 coming on it. We're, we've appointed an academy uh, coach in Gary, and Dylan will be his assistant. We have an academy manager in Eddie Wallace. I'm the director of football. So we put all this together. Eddie, uh, as you all know, is a first team uh, coach and also is going to assist in this program. So we're all putting a lot into it. We've got a great bit of experience here in Paul Heffern has joined us. Paul, some of the media would know this, has played 400 and odd games uh, in England and he, he scored something like 170 goals. Not as many as me or Eddie, but you know, he's close. <laughs> so Paul is there. We've John Power, who's our goalkeeper coach. So we've put a real effort into this, a lot of experience. <clears throat> For one reason, to educate these young lads at under 12. We're going to take them in Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Some of you wouldn't realize it, but on the bottom part of Stradbrook is uh, our training pitch. And to be fair to, to Blackrock, they designated one of the pitches to us all the time, so we use it. Now, as you all know, starting off in football, you're not, you're not used to playing on brilliant surfaces and all that. So down there is a challenge for everybody, including ourselves. So for the kids, it's a great start. They won't be spoiled, but they'll be working very hard. Four nights, or three nights a week, four hours a week. We had a chat with the parents and uh, we said to them, how much do you think this is going to cost you? And they all looked at us, you know, and we said, I said, no, how much it cost you for a babysitting? 15 euro an hour, 60 quid for the week, 240, 2,400 for 10 months. And they all looked and you could see they were staggered. We're charging nothing for this. Nothing. We're looking for sponsors, obviously, to cover the cost of gear, but we're not going to charge anything. We have to hire facilities, we've got to hire coaches, and we've got to give time. Our players on the first team, six of them each month, will be assigned to help these kids and coach with the other coaches. It's a fantastic idea, it's a fantastic program. The kids will learn from them. And not only will they learn from them, but they don't want to come to the matches. They don't want to do ball boys. They want to be mascots, whatever it is. And there's 65 of them. And that means we have 120 parents captured. And we want you to bring your friends to the game. We want you to come along and support Captain T. So it's not just about the kids going out there, it's about the club. And it's a different program than, you know, we played Rovers in a friendly last weekend, and it was fantastic to see what they've achieved up there in a short time. With lots of money and lots of finance, two beautiful pitches and, a, and an all-weather pitch and a beautiful building to work out and a proper office. We're scattered all over the place. We train in Bally Brack. We train, train in Kilbogg, we train here. If the councillors are listening, any politicians, we need a little bit of help. This is right in the centre of Dunleary. Unbelievable population. 
we need a little bit of help. Not me, because I may not be around, but these kids need it for the future. Have a proper stadium, a proper place to play. And that's what we need. So what we try to do with this program is to treat them like professionals. Not only are we going to teach them, it's just technique. The big worry for putting a program together like this is we all have individual managers. So the first thing the manager says, oh, is this going to interfere with me training? No, it's not. It's going to complement what you're doing. We go along to watch them playing on the weekends. We see how good they are. Are they improving? See, can we step them in another place? But the big problem for everybody is to cut off at the end of the season. We can only pick 20 for the under 13 Premiers. But I wouldn't be worried about that. Because the others are going to the 13 Premier in schoolboy or 13 major. And then they still have a chance to come back over. Because everybody doesn't develop at the same time. So it's a great program for the whole club. And only when they go through the club, they realize what we've done for them at this level. Because there's going to be an awful lot of it. We're going to talk about what it's like. This, this Eddie, who's been with Spurs. Ed, uh, uh, Gary, who's been with Everton. I've worked for a couple of English clubs. I've experienced all sorts of different things. We want to share that experience with them and their parents. We want to give them the education. We want to talk about what it's like, <coughs> nutrition. We want to show them uh, what they should be doing, give them the good habits, start them off early. And we think it's a quite a unique program in the sense of the experience we've got. We can't be a Shamrock Rovers. We don't pretend to be. We don't want to compete with them only on the pitch. But I think our program is going to, is going to really give us some quality players going forward. And for them to come along and then train alongside one of our heroes, Marty, and play with him on, on, and train with him on a Tuesday before our training, it's, it's just a great, it's a great opportunity for them. And I think they'll all benefit from it. Now, it's a difficult place, Dragon. It's not, uh, it's a rugby ground and it's their club, so we have to go along with it. But they have been absolutely brilliant to us. I know the FEI and Fran is here, I'd like to welcome, but it's not an ideal place. But we just think it's maybe the start that we can get somewhere else, and we are working on that. And we've got a board who's working very, very hard on it. Now, regarding the content of, of this program, it's, it's very important to spell out here that we're just working on technique. We're not going to interfere with it, but we're going to educate them on all aspects of the game. And rather than me getting into that, I'm going to let Gary talk about that for a few minutes, and then we'll have a chat with Gary, uh, with Eddie, about the first team and where we're going with that. And uh, we won't delay you much longer. Oh, go there.